So there's the uh, footing or little retaining wall we poured to support the rock wall. And we got that done. I showed you the video before of the rebar we had set up and of the forms that were there. And it turned out really nice. So now we just drilled in a few rebar and leveled out the ground and compacted it down with the, the road base to make a spot for the, the final slab to be done with our concrete project. We're almost there, it's looking good. So we're hopefully gonna be able to pour this last section tomorrow. I'm tying in some rebar right here and then rebar all along the slab here. And then I'll tie in another rebar to that other little pad right there. I'm not gonna put rebar into the retaining wall section. Good boy. <laughs> and, uh, but I am gonna put a little expansion gap for a little half inch, uh, little fiberboard stuff that they use for expansion gap that can kind of compress uh, to allow for expansion of the pad against this. And then I'll put caulk there so water doesn't get down underneath it. So it's looking good. We're just about ready to pour it tomorrow. So almost, almost ready. And uh, these rebar, we drilled the hole slightly bigger so they can actually slide. If you can see that, the yeah, rebar can slide right there a little bit in and out. And that's just what they recommended from the research I've done, that you drill the hole slightly bigger than the rebar so it can slide. You just have the rebar there so the, uh, the new pad you pour doesn't go higher or lower than the existing pad. You just want it to stay level so there's no, there's no, uh, there's no gap or no thing, nothing to trip on. So that's why I put the rebar in, and then we just tied it into this other pour we did not too long ago. And then um, tied a long piece in together, and we put little little rocks below to keep the rebar up off the ground, because you want it to be floating in the concrete when you pour it. So it's getting ready to go. It's looking good.